Alright you guys, welcome to the last video of Mario Party 7, of the Mario Party 7 walkthrough. This is part 38. And just recently we showed off the whole duty free shop, you know, everything. And now we're going to be showing off the souvenirs. Now again, if you guys don't know, the souvenirs are something you can get from the computer for mileage points though. And some of these you actually can get from something else. So without further ado, we're going to show off the souvenirs. Now there was a secret that if you say surprise to the souvenir, it'll actually do something. But since we don't have the mic, we mic, we can't say surprise. But with the controller, if you hit R, it'll actually do something. So, yep, the Chi Chi just squirts out, and you can press the C stick to spin it too. Very cool. And here's the grouper. A blooper that tells your fortune. What does the fortune hold? Surprise. I don't see that's not a good fortune. Alright. Some of these, from what I know, are not that interesting though. But some of them are. Alright, here's tasty cookies from Grand Canal. Oh, are popular with young and old alike. Surprise. Yep, they just eat the cookie. <laughs> Real game logic. We don't know who's eating the cookie. Alright, uh, here's Pagoda. Uh, this is Pagoda Peak souvenirs. So this is the the gong clock will toll out the current time. Surprise. Yep. Imagine that's your alarm clock. Seriously. Here's the, the Kung Fu Koopa t-shirt. It's a hot item. Why is it hot? Surprise. Yep. Turns into Master Koopa. Pretty cool. Imagine if they did sell this shirt and it actually does a transparent to Master Koopa on its way. If they did, that thing would sell quite a lot. Alright, a tin of sticky buns from Go to Peak. How did it taste? Surprise. I forgot, wait, hold on. They're literally shaped like peaches. I, I completely forgot about that. <clears throat> but they still look good, though. Alright, next is the little piggy bank from Pyramid Park. That keeps burglars away. How is that? Well, surprise. Yep, obviously, a chain chomp. If this was a real piggy bank, I'd probably scare a lot of people if they even try to steal from my piggy bank. Alright, another souvenir for Pyramid Park. The old jar can hold almost anything. What's in there anyway? Surprise! Yup, the little cobra snakes from that little mini game of Pyramid Park where you just gotta whack them. And I think it shows off another color. Or it just this green. I think it just does green. Yeah, I thought it showed different colors. Alright, so here is the delicious chocolate until you you can eat this delicious chocolate until you burst. Why? Surprise. Yep. This is definitely those type of chocolates you guys see with the fancy box. Yep. Alright, so this is Neon Heights figures ready for blast off. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off. I mean, not that interesting since it's just a toy, but it's all right though. Right, next is the little flying disc. What makes it so spooky? Now call the Air Force. <laughs> Uh, and this one's pretty dope though, how it just teleports. It teleports left, front, right, and back. Imagine if an actual toy like that did that. I mean, I highly doubt they would make it like that and probably add like uh, the sticks to hold it in place or something. But it would be pretty cool. And that's just the food. Eat too much and your teeth may rot. What is it? Surprise. Now I like this one because how it, it's literally just wrapped in 
it's literally wrapped in a top hat, and then when you open it, you're unwrapping it again in like gold paper. And that looks good as hell. Any job like that is good. Alright, here's when Millville souvenir. What will this windmill do? Spin? Grind corn? Well, what do you think? Surprise. Now this one's pretty boring, but it's a pretty cool touch with the whole flowers coming. Like, imagine you just have this in your room, you just have it going. But then again, still pretty boring. Alright, here's the sheep. Everyone loves this fuzzy sheep. Why, you ask? Surprise. <laughs> oh, man. So, this wool just goes crazy. Again, boring, but still adorable. Alright, here's the cheese. He's from Windmillville. Yep, some good ass cheese right there. Alright, next is La last is Bowser's Enchanted Inferno. You guys pretty much say, guess what this does? Bowser's Crazy Torch is very dangerous. Curious? Well then, surprise! And if you spin it, most times it looks really dope when it spins though. So it's like it's just spinning around to letting out that fire. And then the cannon. Don't stand too close to the Bowser cannon or else. Surprise! That's pretty, that's pretty cool though. My feel it shouldn't really have a landing spot. It should just like, kind of like point it right at the camera or wherever you point it at. I'll see. And last but not least is the, bow, is the boiled eggs. Ew, gross, rotten Bowser eggs. Take a bite, surprise. Oh good lord, it's red. I completely forgot it was red though. And I love boiled eggs, but come on. You won't even see me. You won't even dare me to eat that. And last we got is the figures. Figures for each party board. The shy guy for Grand Canal. The one who sings. This sensational shy guy soprano. Can he really sing? Surprise. I would totally get that. I seriously would totally get that. I get all of them though. Seriously. Alright, here's the Kung Fu Koopa from Pagoda Peak. The one who trains day and night. Want to see his moves? Surprise. So badass, man. So badass. Alright, here's the Goomba from Pyramid Park. The turban wearing Goomba is always ready to move. Surprise. I think it's the other one that does the other thing with that mouth. But yeah, not much. And here's my favorite one. How does the shy guy rule the nightlife of Neon Heights? Surprise. Freaking love it. I love this one, man. The shy guy being one of my favorite characters. Totally love it. Alright, and then we have the, the female Koopa Troopa from Windmillville. What's the Koopa merchant who lives in Windmillville really like? No surprise. She's adorable. Alright, last is the Goomba from Battle Enchanted Inferno. No. The Goomba who helps run Battle Enchanted Inferno. Surprise. Yeah, this is the one I was thinking of. I thought the other Goomba would also, you know, do a flip like that, but. Nah. Alright, last is the mini game. Yeah, last is the party cruise, mini game, and the deluxe cruise souvenirs. So the MSS Sea Star, a scale model of it. What does it do? Surprise. Now if you guys notice, it has two stands at the bottom. Which is pretty obvious since it's just sailing like in place and all. And uh, next is the free play sub. Want to see it in action? Surprise. Yeah, this wasn't really nothing. It would have been cool if it did do what the MSSC star did, you know, kind of like 
uh, ran, ran in place and all, but this was pretty cool with the Yukiki. Makes sense because you see the Yukiki like cleaning around the uh, free place uh, around the sub in mini game pools. And last but not least, we got is the Chop Chop helicopter that takes you to the deluxe cruise. Surprise! Now I actually don't like this one either, because if you guys remember the space, the flying saucer one I showed off, it just flies in place. But this one having two stands, it just doesn't really stand out. But in general, it would be cool if it flew in place. You know, almost like those toys, those remote control toys where if you press the button, it just flies around and all like that. Alright, now, now we have the last three, which are all from King of the River. If you do King of the River three times, the first time you will get this. What's in this strange treasure chest from King of the River? Surprise. Yep, nothing but jewels. And the second time you complete King of the River, where you will get this rare lamp from King of the River. What if you rub it? A genie's gonna come out, right? Well, let's find out. Surprise. Yeah, dark stars come out. Now, I think if I'm correct, also regular stars will come out too. Come on. Come on, I wanna show it off. Come on. There we go. Pretty cool. Alright, now last is the one you get at the third time of King of the River. A legend from King of the River. Wars Eevee Powers. Now before I hit surprise, you guys would be pretty shocked to know what this would do though. But like I said, this is the last video of Mario Price of the Mario Party 7 walkthrough. And it's a perfect way to end it though. But what do you think of this? Surprise. Yup, it is the grand, it is the, it is the end credits, it's, which is pretty cool though, because usually you will hear end credits at the end of the playthrough, like, you know, after you did something, but this one's pretty cool though, you know? so as you can see, Mario's just walking through every world, like, he just walked through Italy, Grand Canal, and now he's walking through Pagoda Peak, China. So, yeah, um, yeah, he walks through, you know, every So, I just wanted to quickly talk to you guys about the whole future with this game that I plan to do. Now, Mario Party 7, the walkthrough may be over, but I'm still going to do videos of the game. Like, you guys don't know, Mario Party 7 was the first game that introduced me to gaming and all, and to my love for Mario Party and all. So, I still play this game precisely every day at times, though. Because, you know, it not only brings nostalgia to me, but, it, you know, it keeps me calm. Also, I love how this Neon Heights one looks with the whole nighttime. It's like he's literally walking on top of a skyscraper. But, one thing about this about this is that we're not, we're done with the Mario Party 7, but I still will be doing videos for you guys. Like, there's two things I plan to do. Before I ask y'all to give me requests, I plan to do the 9 star handicap challenge. Now, if you guys now I know some of you may not know what the 9 star handicap challenge is, and some of you may know it, but the 9 star handicap challenge is a challenge where every everybody except you starts with 9 stars or however amount of stars. And your goal is to try to, you know, win the whole party while everybody is in the lead. Now, the best way to do this is a 50 turn party, though. Now, I've never done a video of it, but I do plan to do it for this game, though. So, that's something you guys will be seeing in the future. Now, second, for the request, I plan to take y'all requests on Mario Party 7. Like, if you guys want me to do a party cruise request, where, like, for example, if you say, Hey, can you do a battle royale where you're Luigi and the computers are Yoshi, Toadette, and uh, Dry Bones? Like, if you say something like that and do 25 turns, set the minigames to hard minigames, you know, stuff like that. 
you guys give me a request to that, I'll do it. I don't mind. I play this game a lot, and it's always on random when I do some stuff. Okay. So yeah, but I will be doing that right after I do the 9 star handicap. I plan to do it for every board. So that's something you guys are going to be seeing once I, uh, you guys, that's what you guys are going to be seeing once done. I think here you could, oh no, he does it himself. Yes, I'm the winner. Yes. And. See, this was so fun. It, it was fun to watch this again. But yeah, like I said, this game, the walkthrough is over, but I still will be doing videos for this game. So, yeah. And, uh, so, that was just showing off the, the, the souvenirs, and perfect for this to finish off uh, the walkthrough. And I want to thank you guys for watching. This has been a really fun walkthrough to do, despite that I did take long for the uploading and the whole one month break because of the TV. It was still, you know, fun to play though, and to get back to playing it. As this game was my childhood, and the first game I played, I always wanted to do a walkthrough, and this was definitely one of the first ones I wanted to do. This idea came from some of my favorite Let's Players, who done a walkthrough to this game and other Mario Parties, and that's Slim Kirby and Madam Wario. So to do this now, it was really fun, and it was really fun though, and I enjoyed it. And I'm glad for some of y'all, I'm glad that y'all enjoyed this too. Remember, I got the whole playlist in the description so you guys can check all the way from the beginning to the end. I want to thank you guys for your support and watching this whole playthrough and keeping your patience. Gents, comment below, what was your favorite part of the whole playthrough? You know, with everything, with me. Um, and also let me know what was your, what's your favorite souvenir here. Like, you know, leave some comments on everything. And to be honest, for me to say what my favorite thing was from this, it had to be the last part of Solo Cruise where I almost lost with Bowser, but I actually managed well. Although, that one was crazy. If you guys haven't checked that out, I highly suggest you check it out, though. But yeah, that was my favorite part. <sighs> I want to say it's goodbye. We're still playing this, though. But as long as you guys keep in, stay up to date on my community posts and have your notification bell on, you'll see where I will be doing Party Cruise again, but this time, it'll be the 9 Star Handicap Challenge. And we'll be starting it off at Grand Canal. Now, you guys don't have to request me who to use for the, uh, the, for the challenge. I would just pro I'd probably be either go random or just choose whoever. You know? So that's something you guys will be looking forward to. Anyway, that about wraps up this video. I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and turn your post notification bell on. The link to the whole playlist, starting from the beginning, will be in the description. Stay tuned as I will be doing the 9 Star Handicap Challenge. I also will, also, one quick thing. I do plan to do another Let's Play. Now, I'm not sure if I would do this right now. Or I might just wait till I finish the 9 Star Handicap Challenge. You know, there will be a mixed upload. You guys will get the new one coming this week. Uh, coming this week. And you'll get a 9 Star Handicap. So it will be like half and half. And to answer anyone's question about the Mario Super Sluggers walkthrough. I will be getting back to that very soon. I need to just get a new Wii Remote. A new Wii Remote so I can control the Wii U and play the game and all. Because the other one I have is completely done. And I don't feel like syncing this Wii Remote on my Nintendo Wii to the Wii U. Because that takes a lot of work. Anyway, that's going to be about it, you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out and have an awesome night. Stay safe.